Hey everyone. We'll give everyone a few minutes here to join. Do, 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 do. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. Keep in mind, this is just Ken. There's no Sean. This could be interesting. We'll, we'll see. Hey everyone. All right, so welcome. I was going to do this project last night um, and we just didn't, it just didn't happen. I do have chat up, but just know that when I'm doing stuff over here, I might not see your chat because I have to look over here and there's a lot of stuff going on. And I have a new appreciation for Sean for setting all this up and getting it ready. So um, before we get going though, let me remind everyone that the Cricut access sale is still going on. I'm going to be using a lot of tools in for Cricut today. And so materials and a lot of the supplies is 50% off. You do need to be a Cricut Access member. You do need to be logged into your account. You can still use my code KK10. That'll give you an additional 10% off. So um, that is still going on very exciting. Um, also, um, I'm gonna be using some Brutus Monroe products in this uh, video and I do have an exclusive code with them. It's KK15. So if you are on Brutus and Monroe's site, make sure you use KK15 to get 15% off there. And don't forget Monday is Prime Day. I am so excited. Based on some user feedback, um, someone asked if I could just put my Amazon link always in the video. So if they wanted to shop Amazon, so that is now down below. All the links to everything I'm doing today is down below. Uh, once again, bear in mind, it is just... Um, it's just Ken. I have no director. I have no producer. It's just me. I just wanted to craft with you guys. And like I said, this is, um, I have a new appreciation for setting things up. So um, if you have questions while I'm going through the process and I'll try to go back and do it, if I miss it during the live broadcast, I will try to go back and answer them watching and stuff like this. This could be a, a little bit of a longer uh, video just because we're starting from fresh and there's a lot of steps to this card. Um, I have practiced it, but um, We'll walk through it and, and chat with you and tell you how my day is going. And I'll stop every once in a while and take a peek at the comments over there. So let's take a look at what this is. So when I went to Puyallup, um, I found a company that was had these beautiful cards. And their, their name was Stamplistic. And they have this monthly card kit called uh, Cut Above the Rest. And essentially what it is, is you get every month sent to you, the months that you choose to be part of it, um, you get a, uh, a, layering, a layering die, which is all the pieces. You get a stamp, and then you get a one-piece die, which is the outline of the stamp. So this month, it's super cute. It's a red rubber-mounted stamp. It's this little girl. Her name is Mermaiden, and that's what we're going to be playing with today. We are going to be using the layering dies, and this is what makes it take a little bit longer during the video because we have a lot of cutting and stamping and stuff. We will not be using the one-piece die, but some people do use this because it gives you your outline of black. So every kit comes with like these, which are like ideas, and you'll see a lot of people use the outside of that to get that. Um, but we're gonna be doing a lot of embossing today. Now this month, what's great is she always gives you a little thing here that tells you like this is July 2016, how much the stamp was, the single die, layering, and total, and then what your discount is. Every month it does change a little bit depending on what it is. And you don't have to do it every single month. You can change it around. Um, I will, as I'm going through, tell you all the products I'm using. Um, if I have any technical difficulties, I don't know how to turn my phone off during this. I just got a call right before going live, so I don't know. So if if we lose cameras because someone called and I have to reset up the camera, it's a whole big deal. Um, so hopefully no one calls me. Um, but I, like I said, I will go through and kind of discuss everything that I'm using for you guys and my tips. Now, the other thing I want to say is I get a lot of comments from people that said, you did that wrong. Um, you don't know how to use that or something like that. I do never have said like I'm a craft expert. <laughs> I am no craft expert. 
Jennifer McGuire, let me tell you. Um, so this is just how I do it. You might think of a different way. Give me tips, all that good stuff. I want to hear it. Um, it's definitely not the right way to do it. Um, okay, before I get going, though, I'll check questions just for all you people. Yes, you can. Of course, you can use my link during Prime Day. I have to be careful. So before we get started, see, Sean's not here to keep me focused. Be prepared. Um, so I'm addicted to Ray Dunn. I think I've told everyone then. I've went the past three days in the morning and wasted an hour and a half of each of my days to look for Ray Dunn stuff. So, <laughs> oh, when I put my camera down, it shakes. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Remember. So Jessica says, put it in airplane mode. I would, but Switcher Studios requires Wi-Fi. And if I put it into airplane mode, Wi-Fi goes bleh. So anyways, okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So let me show you kind of the things we're going to be using. I'm using a lot of different tools from a lot of different companies. Um, and let's start with... Do you want to start with the base of the card or the mermaid? Let's start with the base of the card because that's the easiest. So the base of the card... Um, we're going to be using black cardstock, just regular old black cardstock. We're going to be using uh, Bristol Smooth. Now, Bristol Smooth is my favorite cardstock to use. Uh, let me see if I have a piece here. Let me grab it. So this is what Bristol Smooth looks like. Um, I also like uh, Fun Stampers Journeys, Whipped Cream. I like Gina Case. So I like a thicker paper. Uh, but that's what we're going to be using. We're going to be die cutting it. So I need like a little table. Do, 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 do. All right, so this is giving me my table when I'm done. I can put stuff over it there. I'm so, what happened to my trimmer? Oh, here it is. All right, so you guys know I like my, no, the trimmer is on sale at Cricut right now. I think it's like $7.50, so get it get it now it's a good deal so we're gonna just cut this at basically about five and let's do six inches and then we're gonna actually cut it down some more because you know me i like a little something something around my cards so we have that i thought i had all my pieces but i don't you know there was a time when I just edited videos and uploaded them and it was great. Live, I love because I can interact with you guys. But here's the deal is live is got a lot of moving parts to it. Let me tell you, people. Um, so uh, the, the base of the card, I like an A2 size card. So that's five and a half by 4.25. Um, I don't know why I'm addicted to that size. Someone says, why do you prefer that size? I think as crafters, we end up finding a card size we like. Um, and we just stick with it. Like, I know certain people are obsessed with doing square cards. Um, I don't know if Mel's in the chat, but I'm sure Mel likes to do a certain size card. Uh, maybe she doesn't. Maybe she's, I don't know. I'm just stuck on that size. So this will be our base card. And I always just go to Michael's and get like their whatever's on sale for their bonus buys. But we're now going to create this. So since this is a mermaid card, I kind of wanted to do this, this scallop look. This is from Little Inker Dyes, and I love her stuff. Um, I'm a big fan, but it doesn't have an edge. So when you're looking at your die, if there's no edge around it, this means it's just going to, to put this on a background of the card. So we're still going to have to cut it down. No big deal. Um, but just know that because some people will be like, it didn't cut my card. So I'm using the cuddle bug. The cuddle bug is not on sale at cricket.com. Um, and you can't, unfortunately, it's a machine, so you can't use it uh, like a code. But, oh, I need to cut that down a little bit more. But it's on sale at Amazon. So in the links down below, I should probably explain that. In the links down below, um, a lot of my stuff have multiple links. And the reason for that is I know some people want to shop at Amazon and some want to shop at Cricut and some want to shop at, you know, Blitzy. Sorry, I left you in mid-sentence. I do apologize, but I had to go get my garbage. <laughs> I told you guys, it's just Ken today. This is going to be random. But you know what? If it brings laughter into your day, then job well done, right? All right, so we're going to bring this bad boy in, and we're going to run this through my cuddle bug. 
Now the camera's gonna shake, I do apologize, but I had to put the camera on the table because if not, um, you didn't get a good view. And I wasn't gonna put my, oh wow, that was really jerky. I wasn't gonna put my face in a box, I was just gonna do something, but then I was like, then they're not, if I'm like, do leave, they're gonna be like, where'd he go? Where is he? All right, so there is tricks you can use to wear, because when you see this, a whole bunch of little things are gonna pop out. See, there's all these. You can use like a dryer sheet to stop that and capture it. Um, I end up just taking a piece of paper like this that is a thick piece of paper and I literally hit it. Because it's a thick piece of paper, it's not gonna, you can do this. If you need to though, you can use the, the little piece from the Cricut weeding set, which is also on sale if you don't have it. While I'm doing this, I can look at questions. I don't see any in caps. So caps is gonna tell me I have a question, but remember your beautiful Ken here, who today I described as a fat skeletor because I woke up and I was doing a Ray Dunn video call with some friends that were at a Ray Dunn store because you know, I'm obsessed. And I looked at myself in the morning and I was like, I look like Skeletor. But then I was like, no, Skeletor is like skinny. So I'm like a chunky Skeletor. All right. So all the little pieces are out. All right. So if I was to cut this, oh, no, look, good thing I caught that last little piece. All right. ADD crafting today, guys. All right. So, oh my gosh, I will rewatch one of my videos and I say okay a lot. I need to rope that in because I'm like, okay, okay, okay. All right. See, now I'm going to say all right a lot. So on this, um, if I was to cut this, you can see where there's the outline of the metal, right? If I was to cut that on my Cricut trimmer, it's going to be an A2 size card. So what we're going to do is we will cut it right on there and then we're going to shrink her down a bit. Um, so let's do that. I get questions all the time on what my favorite trimmer is because I do have this. I have the Caterpillar Pro. Um, the one thing I like about the Cricut trimmer is it's compact. Uh, I do a lot of card making, so it's very easy. And the blades are inexpensive. So like right now, the blades, you get two blades for, I think they're $2.50 on sale. And then you can use my code KK1Zen to get another 10% off. So they're a really good price. All right. So this would normally be a 5.5. .5, so let's... I want to bring it down to a 5.25, so let's let's trim it up a little. And it's okay, it's going to go through a little bit of those scallops, no big deal, because we really want it to be about, at the end, 5.25, because we're normally at 5.5. And then, let's go ahead and do, this would normally be 4.25, which it is, and we want this to be 4, so we're going to screenshot it down a bit. And then we'll line this up with 4.25. And Sean gets mad at me because I, or wait, no, four. Um, I don't go by like measurements, I go by lines. So 4.25, four. All right, look, there's our little scallop edge. Isn't she pretty? Pretty. We are gonna have a lot on this card, but this is gonna go right here. But I do want to add some elements. So this card, when I was researching what I wanted to do on this card, I was going to do the typical teals and purples, but then I was inspired by gold. So we're going to be doing a lot with gold, black, silvers, that kind of stuff. So I do want to add a little bit more detail back here of gold. So what we're going to do is grab my Ken Oliver craft mat, which is this thing. And I'm going to grab... This. This is from Fun Stampers. Fun Stampers Journey. It's a gold silk. I am still a coach for them. You guys know that I'm not doing a ton um, with them just because I've been, other things have taken up my time, but I am still them. And I one of my favorite things with Fun Stampers Journey is their silks. I love silks. So before we do that, let's go ahead and build the card because this is going to get pretty messy. So we want to make sure this is good to go. And you can use any of your favorite craft adhesive. I'm more of a runner. So I like to uh, use this runner or um, I was in a call last weekend with uh, my crafty friends and they brought up, I think it was called the Sticky Thumb or, well, now that American Crafts has it, it's Sticky Thumb, but it was called, oh gosh, now I forgot the name of it. I'm sure someone that was part of that that knows. Um, 
so there's a couple ways. Some people, um, you know, find this hard. This is why I like a runner is so I can actually run it in these pieces. But you can always buy a spray adhesive if you don't want your ink to show through and you want to make sure you get a good, um, uh oh, it curled up on itself. No, bueno. Let me see if I can get it caught up. It's the only bad thing about this one. Let me go get a new one. Okay, so you can use a spray adhesive. Um, I'm not particular on my adhesive. Um, I know some people get very particular. I'm more of a tape runner though. I think it has a little bit more control. We will be using the art glitter glue as well today uh, because we're going to be doing some pieces. But something like this that I don't want it to show through. Uh, I want my scallops, I think, to go down. And we just want a little bit of a offset of that card. I'm, I'm huge on offsets. Do I love being home? I do. I'll tell you a little story about that. Um, so I was so excited to stay at home and I was like, I'm going to have so much time on my hand. I'm going to do all this stuff. And Melody, I think she's in the chat. I saw her was like, Ken, I don't think you understand. Like, like you never slow down. Like, and I was like, sure I will. Nope. Like I'm constantly busy. It's hard to play catch up. I think it's because, um, you know, setting up videos and stuff, it's a lot of work. All right. So we are just going to dash a little bit on here. We don't want too much. Uh, it will dry with a little bit. It's okay if you get some on your black, but you just kind of want to make it a little bit of a presence uh, just to give it a little bit more of a look. They have a ton of different colors. Remember, up high is going to be a more spread out look where down low is going to give you that. If you're a control freak like me, you can do big dollops like that just by selecting it. Um, but there's no rhyme or reason when you're working with silks. Well, at least there isn't for me. We're gonna put this off to the side. This is pretty much done. We have a few more things we need to do. That gold is going to dry more of a metallic sheen. It just needs to do its drying. So we're gonna put that off to the side and start working on our mermaid. And while you guys are doing that, I'm gonna clean this mat. Hi, ever. oh, Sean's here. Hi, Shawnee. It is not easy. Um, I will say, being at home, the dogs are needy. Um, I'm very easy. You guys know me. I'm very easy to get off task. So it's, uh, I love it. I wouldn't change it for the world now. Um, I can do it because of the support from you guys, but it's a lot of work. I did not realize the amount of work it would be, but do I love it? Absolutely. Let's put this guy, because I don't want this to, you know what, I'm just going to dry it now, because I'm afraid I'm going to hit it. So this is just the Fun Stamper's Journey heat tool, or heat gun, I should say. I got it because it's green. That's the only reason. Uh, there's no, wasn't because it worked better than another or anything like that. I just liked the green color. I usually let this air dry. Uh... I'm just gonna get it initial air going there so that way if I accidentally hit it, it doesn't, you know, get ruined. All right, so let's get started on our mermaid. Do we have any questions? Ken, I collect Ray Dunn too. I need, I need everything Ray Dunn. I love the canisters, I love everything. So I'm addicted, legit addicted. All right, so we have our layering dies. I'm gonna grab those just so you can kind of walk through the process with me and how I'm building this little lovely girl. We have our stamp. Now, Stamplistic is all red rubber mounted stamp, which I love. Um, they come with a piece of paper on it, so it doesn't cling in there, but I lost mine. That's not a shocker. So, this you have, you have the mermaid. So this is the mermaid, um, like her base. And then these other pieces, which we'll get out, this is the mermaid tail that goes right here. This is the face that you can put out. This is a little piece of the hair that's going to stick out. And I'm missing one more piece because I think this is a six piece. 
Uh, what piece am I missing? One, two, three, four. Huh. I'm missing a piece. Well, I'll be dang. Let's see. Six piece layering die. One, two, three, four, five. And the funny thing is, is I only have five, so I've never had six pieces. So I'm missing a sixth piece. Well, that is no bueno. I wonder what it is. So if anyone knows what it is, let me know, because I don't have it. Oh, wait, I do know what it is. Nope, I don't. Huh. Well, I'll have to contact them. I only have five pieces, because that's why I've only cut out five. One, two, three, four, and then the tail's five. I don't know. Um, if anyone knows if, what piece I'm miss, missing, let me know, and I'll have to reach out to the company. That's sad. Oh, well. Okay, so we have all of our pieces. Well, mi minus one, but it will still look good. I, I built a, a display with it, and it looks fine, so we're good to go. What we're going to start with is we're going to grab a piece of Cricut poster board. So this is just the poster board. I think it's on sale right now. Cricut, I forget the um, how much, but it's 50% off. And the reason why is I'm going to be layering this beautiful mermaid, and I want it to have structural integrity. Uh, so... Yeah, I don't know if it's... Uh, why it is what piece I'm missing, but I'm definitely it says on the package six pieces, so I must be missing something. And huh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know what piece it is because I literally spent all day yesterday cutting it, so and I only the whole time I've cut five pieces. The tail is missing. Well, this is the tail right there. So I have the tail, and then this is the other piece of the tail. Unless there's another piece of the tail, which I'm missing, which I improvised last night by just cutting it off the main part. So maybe that's the piece I'm missing. Call now. We will hold. <laughs> Calling. All right. So it doesn't matter what color you guys use on this. It's just to give your mermaid some integrity. I think I'm using that word, right? Like structural integrity so she doesn't fall. So... That's all this piece is. I did it in silver. You can do it in whatever color you want. If you are going to go to the Cricut sale, make sure to buy more of these. That's what I couldn't wait. These are $10 for the replacements. You get two of them. Look at mine. They're so bad. So bad. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to grab some of this stuff this is cricket pearlized paper so let me show you that see how it has a little bit of a pearl sheen um like that and this does really good for their skin tones and we're going to do this in black now this is pretty thin stuff um so keep that in mind i already have a piece that i used yesterday so i can probably well it's kind of yeah it's kind of bent kind of bent so let's go ahead and cut this down to let's do uh, let's do right at five and a half inches hmm. I bet you I'm missing the other piece of the tail it's a tiny piece I just checked mine I wonder what it was or what it went to because this is the tiniest piece I have so I'll reach out to them. There is a tiny piece of the tail. Okay, so that's no big deal because I cut it out myself yesterday. It's super easy. Super easy. That's an easy fix. All right, I am going to be using the Tim Holtz Tonic Stamp Tool. Now this has a rubber side and a clear side. So since we're using a red rubber mounted stamp, we want to make sure that rubber side is up. And we are going to be heat embossing this on this paper. And this paper doesn't seem to get very staticky, so I'm not going to use my embossing buddy on this like I will on some others. Uh, but if you tend to have a lot of static in your house, you might want to do that. 
we will be using this uh, Raven. Oh no, I've been not trying to bite my nails and look, I just ripped it. I won't bite it, Sean, I promise. We'll buff it later. Never mind. I'm gonna bite it. <laughs> Don't look, Sean. Okay, so let's get our stamp out, which is, here she is. Look at her, she's so beautiful. And let's stamp her right about there. So we'll pick it up, just like so. And then using the embossing ink, I just happen to have the Brutus Monroe stuff, which I, I mean, I like. Um, any embossing ink will work. You're just trying to get a nice sticky, something for the powder to stick to. Now this one, we will do the entire thing. Some other pieces that I will be embossing later on, we will not worry too much about making sure everything, because we're only gonna be using pieces of it. All right, so I'm just gonna push this down and you just wanna make sure we get a good transfer. Now on this pearl paper, you'll see it because it's, um, it leaves like a little bit of a wet residue. Even on dark paper, you should see it. So you'll know if you got a good transfer, which looks like we did. So I'm gonna take that off. We can put this off to the side for right now. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. You'll really see it here in a sec. And we're just gonna use this Raven everywhere on here. Gosh, I never saw that little piece, so I wonder if it fell out of my package or just didn't make it in there. Oh well. So I always look to make sure we got a good transfer on there because you can always add more if you don't think you did. And then basically you're just going to go like that. I also just kind of flick it a little bit. We do have some pieces out there that we do need to clean up with a paintbrush and I'll show you how to do that. It's really easy. And then I just save everything right back into that jar. Flicker that off. And I just use a dry towel real quick just to clean off my area to make sure I don't have that powder super thin. So it can, um, it can definitely be on your, your work surface. Okay, if we look close at my mermaid on her tail, we have a little bit of things we need to fix. So I just grab a very fine tip. Here you go. And I'm just gonna go and clean it. Now, if it doesn't pick it up, I would say just wet it just ever so lightly. This, this powder should pick up pretty good. A lot of these areas we're gonna be covering anyway with the layer dye, so it's not hugely important. But nonetheless, this way if you, I used to always get so mad if, um, especially the embossing buddy that Ma Magic will be using that later works great. Um, however, oh, are you kidding me? I am so sick of telemarketers calling, you guys. Just a sec, I'm so sorry. Telemarketers, I don't know how to stop that. Besides blocking them. Ugh. Sorry guys, bear with me here. I am so sorry. I need to figure out a way to turn off my calls and not allow that because it's so frustrating. And it's all telemarketers. I kid you not. That's all it is. I'm so sorry, guys. All right. So I just need to fix everything here now. Let me zoom that in. Sorry guys, I'm so sorry. There has got to be a way to turn it off to where they cannot call me while I'm doing stuff, but until I figure that out. Okay, I apologize about that. 
I do block them as they come in, but I don't know if they are either I'm going to have to figure out something with Switcher Studios or something because it's so frustrating that we, um, every call, and it it's, I've tried turning it off. I've turned off Wi-Fi calling. I don't know what the solution is, but it's all telemarketers. Every single one is telemarketers, and it's so frustrating. Um, I've gotten eight calls from them today, eight, and they're out, usually asking for Sean, so I don't know what Sean's doing to get all these calls. All right, so sorry about that little oopsie dooly. We're gonna go ahead and heat this now. And I turn on my heat tool here and I put it towards, of course, my hand to get it nice and hot. I know, but I've been on call lists, all sorts of stuff, um, and they don't, they, they keep calling me. It's so frustrating. All right, so you're gonna see this gloss up real quick. And we're going from this like powdery look to a nice glossy look. You don't wanna to be too close to your... Uh... And this stuff looks amazing on this pearl paper. So really the, the part we're concerned about most with this is her body because this is the only part because we're doing something different for her hair, her tail and everything else. Okay, I'm just going to make sure all that powder. Good deal. All right. Yeah, CC, even if I put my phone on silent, it still rings through and it kills Switcher Studios. So it's not the ring, it's it actually kills it. All right, so because we're using this pearl paper, we do want to let it dry just a little bit before we run it through our embossing machine because we are cutting it out again using this because we need to get the full thing and line it up. Um, oops, I missed a whole spot. Good thing that'll be covered up. Um, so you just want to make sure uh, that it's dry. Okay, so the only area we are really concerned about is this area. That's the area we want it to look really nice in because this whole thing and her whole hair is gonna be covered up. So I'm just going through to make sure it doesn't feel sticky. We're gonna grab this and we're gonna grab our purple tape. Purple tape is from Thermal Web and um, I really like it. It doesn't destroy my paper, which I appreciate. And we're just gonna line it up and I usually do take a lot of time to make sure it's lined up to where it cuts. Um, and I can already tell it's not lined up here. So we're gonna move that down just a little. There we go. You can see where your black is showing through or if it's coming through. Um, like I said, a lot of this stuff will be covered up with uh, other pieces, but you still like it to be nice, right? I do. Okay, grab my cuddle bug. We're gonna put that on there and we'll run her through. So the sandwich I use is, I've been told before it's wrong, but it works for me. It's the A base plate the magnetic plate, a B plate, my material, my die facing down, and then a B plate. Uh, some people say that's not the appropriate way, but it's always worked for me. Um, and I tend to do my dies facing down. Other people like their dies facing up. So I guess it's all a personal preference on what you like to do. So we'll peel that purple tape off. Ooh. 
And then, oh, I have my garbage over here. That's why I'm over there. They have little holes that you can poke your pokey tool through. And then what that will do is it will release it. Like I said, there's some people that use dryer sheets or wax paper. The only thing I'm, I'm careful on is that can make your dyes last, you know, tend to um, wear out quicker. This one's a little bit more trickier to get because it is the pearl paper. The pearl paper is a little thinner to work with. Uh, I would say it's thicker than the vellum, but it's still a little, I mean, it's pretty thin stuff. So, and that's hence why we have, oh, that's perfect. Great. That is why we have the base. So that's what this is gonna be for. So I'm gonna just put this, this is the Xyron sticker maker. I'm gonna put my piece of pearl paper and just slowly go through the entire thing. And I just rub to release it. And if there is any other sticky pieces in there, we can always remove it with a pokey tool. I'm sure that there is a legit name. I'm sure it's not the pokey tool. I know it's part of the weeding set, but I just call it the pokey tool. So I love the Xyron sticker maker uh, just because it adds a nice layer of adhesive. And uh, I'm using the permanent, but they do have a repositionable if you tend to move a lot of your you know, projects or stuff like that. And it's very user friendly in my opinion. So I tend to like it. A lot of people, when they see it, they're like, well, it's just for making stickers. And I'm like, well, but stickers is adhesive. So it works really good. So if you have any of the little pieces in there, you'll see little what I call Xyron spider webs. You can eliminate this from happening by taking like a ballpoint pen and drawing around it or stuff like that. Um, but it's just as easy to go along and, and do that. All right. So once again, the only part we're really concerned with on this layer is her body. But look at her. Isn't she pretty? So we're gonna get started on the tail next. I'm gonna put her off to the side here. So the tail, we are going to be using black cardstock first. So I'm gonna grab my piece of black card sack that I already have ready to go. And this one, I will use my embossing buddy on it. So this essentially gets rid of any of the static that you might have where the powder is going to stick. And in my opinion, it works good and it, uh, that way you don't have all that powder kinda, cause nothing's worse than having powder where you do not want it. So this is gonna come off a little bit, but that's okay because we are only concerned with the tail on the bottom. So even though she's gonna go a little bit off, we're not worried about it. We're just gonna get that tail. So we're really looking at this bottom part. So I'm gonna ink it up really good. And we'll get a nice push. Ta da! I see her tail. Oh, she's so pretty. And for her tail, we're using gilded. Gilded. Oh, wow, I tied that on tight. Yes, I happen to have, um, so I will say Brutus Monroe's embossing powder is ultra thin. Um, and in my experience, when you have an ultra thin embossing powder, it melts really nice together. So you get a nice solid line. Sometimes if you have a chunkier embossing powder, sometimes you'll have little gaps in it or it doesn't stick to the glue as well. 
So I do like hit, uh, the Brutus Monroe just because we always get a really nice transfer. Once again, we're not too concerned with the, we're only looking at the scale part, which is this part, um, because we're gonna be covering the rest up with other layers, which we'll do next. So once again, if you have any pot spots that are bugging you for whatever reason, just remember most of that will get cut out, but you can take a paintbrush and clean it up. Or you can have the attitude like I have some days. There's days that I've embossed and embossed and embossed and embossed and embossed, trying to get it just perfect. And then I realized I have a stamp that says this card is handmade and imperfect. And I was like, oh my gosh, why don't I use that, that stamp more often? Okay, so I will see people all the time blow on their powder, which is fine. It will clean it up. I shake it and tend to do this because when I blow, spit comes out and then that's no bueno. No bueno, guys. All right, let's go ahead and heat this. So if you wanted to, there is, just to show you, even though we're going to be covering up the tail, you can see on that tail, it's a little thick right there. Just take your paintbrush, wet it a little bit, and it will pick up all of that powder that, for whatever reason, stuck there as well. And then I just flick it. Like so. And it cleans it up. So this powder you guys should see. So I'll bring it up nice and close so you can see, because right now it's a powder. And we're just going to hit it. And you're going to see it go gold real quick. So this one, it's a lot easier to see if you missed it because you can really see the powdery versus the gold there. See? Isn't that gorgeous? All right. So we are going to cut this using this die. This is the die. Now this one I do get a little bit more particular with because I don't want it to cut my gold. But if it does, no big deal. There is a fix to it. I just try to spend a little a little more careful lining this one up. I tend to not be a patient person, just ask Sean. He knows that about me. So I tend to hurry, which is never good because then you just end up going back and having to redo stuff. And if you guys have a trick on what, how to make sure you are not cutting out your lines, I don't know what that trick is. I've seen some people use a bright pad to line it up. I've seen other things. I've seen some people cut it first and then stamp, but that's not been successful for me. I don't know what the the answer is to it besides I lift it and see where the you know the blades going but I don't know if there's a a trick to it that other people know about and I'm just not part of that trick I will say the purple tape helps though because the worst thing you can do is have it shift on you which is no fun if it shifts so all of a sudden now it's shipped and you have, you know, your metal dies moved and you're kind of stuck with it. All right, let's remove my purple tape first and save it. That's the other nice thing about purple tape is total re reusable. Ooh, we didn't do too bad, team. All right, everyone can take a nice... <sighs> I was nervous about that one. All right, so we have our tail, but now we need our fins. I told you guys this is going to be a long live. Live, hunker down. We're not even a fourth of the way done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you get to just spend all afternoon with me. Usually the ones Sean doesn't want to be part of are the ones where it's doing stuff like this, like crafting and stuff that I love, but... Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to grab this stuff. So this is the glitter paper from Cricut. So Cricut card stock. And we're going to be stamping this twice because we need the one fin and the second fin that I'm missing the die piece for. 
Normally we could just do it out of the one die, um, but because I'm missing that, we do need to cut this twice. And one will be a hand cut. So we do need to stamp this twice because of that. And so let's go ahead and stamp it. Once again, we're just worried about the tail. So I'm gonna bring all this in, put my little pieces here. And actually, let's move right about there. Okay, so we're really only looking at these pieces here. Uh, but if you want to, you can do more just to be on the safe side. I'm just going to ink those spots up. And then we will heat set it, turn it around and do it again so we can cut it again. So we'll push down real good. Push that out of the way just temporarily. So I always put a little bit because who knows where I stamped. You can't really see it. And then you can go back because it will pop right out at you and put your extra ink or uh, embossing powder, sorry. And this stuff doesn't tend to stick at all because the glitter paper is, but it, it it's a nice transfer. I love their glitter paper. So we have to do that twice, but I'm gonna heat set that first because this embossing powder is so thin that if you don't heat set it, it will um, flake off very easy. This one I have to hand, do at an angle because the glitter paper is so shiny. It's hard to see if the embossing powder is still a powder or if it's been set. So I kind of work in sections on this one. And when you look at it, it should have a glossy look to it. Wow, that glitter paper's shiny. <laughs> Wowzers, you guys. All right, we don't care about the rest of it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that tail. Wait till you see it on the mermaid. So cute. So cute. So cute. Where'd my scissors go? Crafting with ADH Ken. Okay, we'll put this off to the side because we have to do that same thing over again. We're going to flip it down and reverse it. Doop, 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 doop. Man, Sean's usually getting all the comments and doing everything. Sean, special place in my heart now. I mean, you always were there. Oh, Ken's coffee's kicking in. Woo, 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 woo. So you want to know, I have a YouTube crush. Do you guys want to know who I'm crushing on right now on YouTube? I don't know anyone watches it. He has a cake channel. He's called Jonathan J. Russell or something. It's Man About Cakes, and I'm obsessed with him. He's so cute, and I want to make cakes like he does, but I know I can't. But he's got these tattoos, and I just want to color him in because his tattoos he has aren't colored in yet. So every time I watch one of his videos, I'm like, oh, man, I could use some, like, Zig Real Brush markers and color those in and be all beautiful. This is what goes through my mind. You're welcome. I have no idea where I just stamped at you guys. Oh, there it is. King of random, huh? Man, I love 
love this embossing powder on this paper, you guys. It's gorge. Oh, I got a question one time. Someone said that when they emboss, they sometimes get lines that are bigger in areas and thinner in the others. Usually, that is because you are using like a stamp press or something like that, and you're pushing so hard on your stamp that your stamp is going, you know, the best way to think of it is your stamp's going down and then pushing out. So it's actually making your lines look a little thicker. Just don't use as much. I would use more, um, less pressure when you're pressing down and you shouldn't get that then. Um, but it happens to me too. That's why I showed it there is every once in a while I'll push a little too hard. It happens, it happens to the best of us. All right, let's heat get this guy. Once again, I have to do it up so I can see it turn because it's so glittery, you guys. Is it sad that right now, literally in this moment, I'm thinking of the Ray Dunn canisters? That means you have a problem, Ken. That means you need to go seek help. That's how bad I want this stuff. I should go get some of the stuff I found. This paper is pretty thick, so I'm not worried about, um, cause on thin paper, you can actually burn it. Be very careful. You should move around your heat gun, all that good jazz. Uh, this doesn't seem to be doing that, but be very careful. And I am just going to heat the rest of it, even though we're not using it just cause I don't want to get the powder everywhere. I definitely did not need to, um, waste this much powder because it's just a waste when you are doing it on areas that you don't really need it, but you know, whatever. Okay. So on this one, we are using this guy. So, and then we're going to be cutting out the other one. So, because it seems like the other one should have been, um, scent, but I don't have it. So I'm just going to cut it out with my snips. No big deal. But it sounds like that that's the other piece that Ken is missing. Uh, so now we know. But nothing a little snizzers can't help with. I do have an appreciation for people that fussy cut because I am not a fussy cutter. Well, good thing I was fussy cutting. That part wasn't set. Saw that right away. There we go. And then we're just going to follow it along here. Oh, that's much better. I just love this glitter paper. Oh my gosh, you guys, my coffee is kicking in. I'm kind of shaking. I'm obsessed with cold brew. Like Starbucks really should not invent new things because I just want to go try them. They also have a mango dragon fruit. Oh my gosh, it is to die for. It's a refresher. They were out of it for the longest time. And then we finally found one that had it in. And of course it's all sugar, so I couldn't get the big one, but it was amazing. Okay, so there are certain people up, out there that would rather just hand cut this than run it through the die cutting machine. Um, what happened to my die? Oh, here it is. Because this way you have a little bit more control. You're just cutting right along that. And in fact, I might, it's a pretty big piece though. It's a really big piece actually. So I'm not going to cut it. I'll, I'll try die cutting it and fingers crossed we get a good, if I wasn't such a perfectionist, I wouldn't care that, it, you know, it's, but in my world, it's got to be perfect. So I'm going to use a purple tape. Oh, I should get that closer for you guys. Um, I don't know how to though. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know how to, so we're not going to mess with that because I can mess with it. And then, oops, all of you go away. Unless Sean's here and then he'll tell me how to do it. Oh, wait, maybe I do that one. 
No, I'll just do that. <laughs> All right, let's run this through the cuddle bug. Because that's the worst thing that can happen, everyone, is I mess it up and then all of a sudden, all of you go bye-bye. Do you know there was a time that I thought that the cuddle bug was just for embossing folders? Right? Like, I remember thinking like, what are metal dies and why would you ever want to cut them when you have a Cricut? And then, a whole new world. I almost want to sing it for you, like Ariel style. Whole new world opened up for Ken. Oh, we did good. We done good, kids. All right, so that one is done. Now we're going to do her, fa I told you, long project. Hunker down. Now we get to do her face. That sounds really bad. I don't mean to sound bad, but we are gonna do the face. And it's gonna all come together and it's gonna be beautiful and you guys are gonna be like, that's awesome because right now I know you're like, this is very confusing, but it will come together. All right, so for her face, we are using more glitter paper. Well, it's actually her hair, I should say. This stuff is hard to find. I found it, um, gosh, it's been a while. This is actually by Coordinations. It's called Glitter Prints and it's actually inkjet printable glitter paper. But what I like about it is it's one of the few paper that it's like gold glitter on a cream card stock. Let me see if I can, it's hard to see, but like in per, I wonder if I can bring it up to that camera. No, not really. So like it's, it's a, a cream card stock with um, really pretty different shades of gold. And um, I'm getting low on it. So I'm getting a little stingy with the project I use it on, but for her hair, it's really great because we're gonna have, you don't wanna go like super black on the hair because I did that originally. And to be honest, uh, it was too much black, if you know what I mean. Like too much, like we had black hair and then the black uh, thins and it just, she kinda got lost. So what we're gonna do is we have to do this twice. I know that's frustrating and the reason why is because I'm doing it a weird color. This little portion of her hair is not part of the dye. I have to hand cut that, because if not, it won't match up. This dye literally covers every part of her hair but this little piece. And normally if you were like, let's say um, you were doing it as, you're just coloring it and stuff, it wouldn't be a big deal. But since I'm not coloring it, I'm using an actual different piece of paper. Uh, we have to cut, hand cut that out. So, no big deal, right? No big deal, except for all those that were like, gosh, is this project gonna ever be done? Here isn't due till Friday? Hmm. Mm. I love popcorn. It is, I take popcorn. If someone's not reading the comments, they're like, he is random. But I take popcorn and I put a little butter on it and then I shake Parmesan cheese, like crap Parmesan cheese on it and salt and it is heaven. So good. So good. Like heaven, heaven. So we are going to be using black embossing powder for this. Wow, you can't see it, so hopefully it got on there. Hopefully, Ken knows what he's doing. If not, we'll say it was all part of the plan. Woot. Oh yeah, I can see it already coming to life. Coming to life, bring me to life. So the only reason we're doing all of it on this one is because of that one piece that I do have to cut. So we might as well just do it all. The die will cut out her face part. I shouldn't say, I keep saying her face. It's not her face. It's actually her hair we're cutting out and her face will poke through. So we really need these pieces up here. So I'm just gonna make sure we have a good amount of powder on those pieces. Looking good. Looking good in the neighborhood. Do, 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 do. I'm sorry if you guys are asking questions. I normally am really, it's 
so important for me to answer questions, but this one man show, whew, I'm telling you, I don't know how Martha does it. Martha or Anna or any of those huge celebrities. People come up and they're like, you're a crafty celebrity. And I don't, I'm always like, I don't feel like I am. I feel like I'm a tragic mess. I don't know why I'm cleaning this up because we don't care about that part. But, you know, when in Rome. I get to the point where it hurts my hand and then I know it's ready to go. Let <laughs> me dry a little bit of the sweat on my forehead. All right. Heating it. Now, the reason why I wanted to use black for this is she has these beautiful, like, seashells and stuff. And we're going to be using some Nuvo drops in there. One of the reasons I love red rubber mounted stamps is you can get really detailed stamps like this and get all those nice thin lines. Okay. Look at that. It's so good. I don't think we have to use this anymore. Oh no, we have to do it one more. One more time. Let's do it again. All right. Where's my things? Okay. So we have to cut out this part stresses me out. I'm not going to lie, everyone, because you have to cut out her face. And so it has to be centered just right. Wait, you can you even see that? So I am going to take my time with this because if you get it off, it looks weird. That might actually be good. If it's not, what did we say earlier, team? crew we said handmade is imperfect usually that means for ken throw it away start again mm -hmm. no lie no lie i had to learn that early on in my crafting career like i would spend hours and throw away a card at last minute because it had the ink was wrong or and I would go to Sean and I'd be like, Sean, do you like this? And he'd be like, I love it. And I'm like, you're lying. You're just saying that to make me feel good. I'm throwing it away. And he would get so mad because I'm so stubborn. Because he'd be like, don't throw it away. And well, in order to throw it away to where he couldn't see it, um, rush to the ER. Why do I need to be rushed to the ER? You're scaring me. Anyways, um, I would literally rip it up. Like, I would tear it up to where he couldn't recover it. Because he would, like, try to recover it and be like, it's fine. Every, you made it, so they're going to love it. And I'm like, it's gone. It's in the trash. Look at this. This is the saddest part. Look at, do you see her little face poking out? <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh every single time. I'm like, see you later, lady. Okay, guys. Oh, shut the front door. We did it, guys. Okay, we have to do it again now. <laughs> Remember, we have to get this little piece and we have one more area we have to cut out. Um, which is this itty bitty minusculey uber duber small piece. And then we get to put it together. <laughs> All of this hard work, you guys. Winning together. Uh-oh. You don't need to stamp it twice, though. Just once should do it. You'll still have the small piece to fussy cut. I do have to stamp it twice. And the reason why is this piece right here, you can't really see it, is another layered piece. See? So that's going to be another layered piece. Normally, if I didn't have that, you're right. I could have just uh, fussy cut at the bottom. You are correct. Mm-hmm. I know. I wish I could hear you. Well, I'll stop and read. Mm. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Why 
I might have to go to the ER. Why do I have to go to the ER? I know this is why I like Sean to be here and why I normally don't do live videos without him because he is all about my comments. We did it. We did it. <laughs> I told you guys I wouldn't be watching comments. I'm so sorry. I know how frustrating that is. Maybe he'll read this all later. What am I supposed to be reading, you guys? What am I supposed to be reading? What is going on? What is happening? What is happening? Is this real life? The missing stamp list has beautiful stuff, but not simple. Well, that's not necessarily true. I'm opting to do the layered version. That's the reason they give you the single layer die, which is Oh, because of the way you test your heating tool. Eh. Um, that single layer die you can do without doing all the layers. And it's really, really uh, a beautiful look. So I, I am saying like, yes, I this is a process, but I love the layered look. So I'm willing to go through all of this with you guys because I love it. I don't know why that's not. Oh, that's part of the stamp. That's why. Ta-da! All right, let's get this back in. And really, for this amount of powder you get, I think it's like five ninety nine. It's not bad. Not bad at all, guys. Okay, I won't heat it this way. Here, I'll put it that way for you guys. Oh, the missing die is a hair piece. Which hair piece is it? I bet you that's the little piece I'm missing because I figured to myself, I'm like, why wouldn't they give you a piece for down there? Uh, I bet you your guys are right. If it is that little hair piece, that is a tiny hair piece, you guys. That's a tiny dye. But you know what? Together, we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna just still make it a beautiful look, right? You don't worry, little mermaid. You're gonna be beautiful for Prince Eric. Yes, you are. He's gonna see you and he's gonna wanna dance and then they're gonna kill the crab and eat it because that's what they do in that movie. That's the part they don't let you see is they kill that poor little crab. Poor little crab. What happened to my other pee? Oh. So this is the part that I'm going to need. So I'm just going to cut that out. I bet you you're right. That's the little piece that I'm missing. Because just the reason I found it out is yesterday I was doing this and getting the project ready. And I was like, why is that hair a different color? And then I was like, oh, no, I'm missing that piece. Or I didn't do it right, actually, is what I thought, is I messed it up. So... Together, you guys, we can accomplish great things things i almost lost it in the pouch you know what that makes me feel like that then it, it i lost it that it was probably in the pouch and i lost it so what i will do is after this live i will go in my craft room and look because that makes me feel like i lost it i can't blame them it's probably in there somewhere but that's a tiny piece then like that's uber tiny but it makes sense I'm glad you guys, so glad I did this live with you so we could figure this out as a team. Okay. Woo! We are all done cutting and embossing. Let's put this thing together. I might need to go take a lunch break before I do that. No, I'm just kidding. Sweat towel. All right. Are we ready? All right, so let's put this together. Our base card's ready. Um, 
here's all my pieces. We're going to start with this tail. Now this, I wish I could, let me see you guys. I'm going to do this just sec. Just, you just wait guys. I'm going to get it close so you can see me building it. Is that gotten closer for you? Yeah. Okay. Um, so we are ready to start building this. So this first piece is going to go right here. I'm not going to pop this up. It's just going to go on to there. You can either use your regular tool, something. I'm just going to run it through my Xyron maker again. Oops. I like the new version versus the original Xyron Maker. They were like purple and teal and they were nice, but I like this one much better. I think it works better. It's more compact. Man, by the time I'm done with this live, Sean will be home because we're, we're doing another live tonight. Oh, that's right. We're doing two lives today, guys. Today is all about you because tonight we were originally going to do the um, Arteza review. So we're still going to do that with you guys. Um, so you guys can see that product. So if you have nothing to do tonight, but after this live, you guys might be all spent. Because I'm telling you, this is a long live. So there is the start. Look at her. I love that tail. Look at that tail, you guys. So why use a Xyron and not glue it on? Because Xyron basically is giving me an even layer of adhesive all the way down. And I don't have to. Because what I do not like, um, I'll be honest, is it, I don't get it so much with the art glitter glue, but some other glues. It's very thin. It has bubbles. And then you get a mess. And the other way is nice and even. All right. So we have tails. This tail is going to end up going right here. Making sure you guys can see this. So that goes right there. And this tail ends up going right like this. So this tail, what we're going to do is we're going to put a Zot on it. Let me grab that. So I just get these. They're just little, they're called Zots. They're like a little adhesive. And we're going to take that off. And it's going to go at the base of the tail. So if you look at this, the base of the tail is right here. So it just goes right there. And we can remove that. And then I'm going to take some of my, these are just fun, you can use any, but I like Fun Stampers Journey um, small and medium foam squares. And I'm just going to put that on basically the tip part of the tail. And we're only going to do one because the other one will have two. So now we can remove these. And what this will do is it will allow it to be um, heightened at one end and flat on the other end. So when we put this on, that Zot holds it down here, but then we'll slowly go up. Now, I do suggest, and so will Stamplistic, to use black um, pop dots if you have them. I do not have any. Uh, so I'm using what I have, but I do agree black gives it a much better defined look. So if you can get them, I found them on Amazon. Stamplistic has it on their site. I believe May May Made It has it on her site. Um, so they're definitely out there. And in my opinion, it just gives it to when you turn the card, it doesn't, you don't see that white. Okay, on this one, I'm going to use the mediums. So we're going to put one, two. Oh, sorry, guys. I forgot I zoomed in. Okay. And then I'm just going to take two more of those mediums and just stack them up like they're Legos. Just like so. Now, what's important on this is you do not want to put your foam squares too close to your Zot because then it's going to look really uh, dramatic. But then when you put this on, you're going to start with your Zot in down here, push it down, and then line it up towards the top. And what that did 
is you have that tail. See how that tail's now? And see how the black would be much better? But that tail is a lot more, you know, popping out at you. Okay, so we have, look at that. <gasps> Loving it. So now we're gonna focus on the hair. And, oh no, you guys, I almost forgot. <laughs> I was like, I threw away the hair piece, everyone. I didn't. We're good. Let me cut that out really quick before. That just scared me. Like, literally, my heart sank. I was like, I am not doing that again. I'm not. I refuse. And really, the color is so... It's just glitter, so you probably wouldn't have seen it. But I am still not going to go through that again. All right. -wee. Oh my gosh. I would have literally had a heart attack. So once again, you guys don't have to use Zyron. I just like it, um, especially for little pieces like this. I think because I have a heavy handed, when I push my glue, I get the little dots. Like they're little bubbles and they're annoying. But I know other people don't like Xyron because it can, you know, whatever the reason is. Oh, look at this. Oh, that hair is going to look so good, you guys. I'm so excited. All right, so this hair literally just goes down. I'm not going to, you can have it go up, but you don't want it to go up too much because then it looks like it's a, uh, um, like Eskimos wear around their head. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is that? Like it's a burka? No, is that it? A burka? A burka, right? No, burka is not right. Is it? Let's see here. Ooh, that would be pretty mom. Use a black Sharpie. I use a black Sharpie anytime my edges are still showing. So you're probably going to see on there a few edges that are showing. I was hoping you guys wouldn't see that and I could get away with it. Um, but thanks. Now you saw it. Uh, so I will put a black Sharpie and I'll show you how. Um, I have a, it's a very fine tip black Sharpie. Just keep in mind, if you've used the Xyron sticker maker, sometimes it won't work because the adhesive is literally right on the edge and it... Um, it uh, kind of piles up with the adhesive. Um, and sometimes too, depending on the paper you're using your Sharpie on, it can absorb into the paper, which will be frustrating. So always test it before you actually do it on your thing. But thanks for pointing out you see that. I was hoping no one would see that. Ugh, now I'm not perfect enough for Ken. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's almost the same color as her skin, but we're going to be adding some more stuff. But can you see the glitter in that? It like is like the water's hitting her hair. Oh, gorge. All right, last one is um, this hair piece, which goes right here. And I'm going to be using just some Fun Stamper Journeys pop dots. I only do one, and I don't... You can angle this. Um... So you can do it to where it goes like this. I did that. I wasn't a big fan of it. It looked like, I don't know. I didn't like it. So I'm going to pop it out. When in doubt, you guys heard it here. Pop it out. All right. So we have some details we need to add to our mermaid, but we need to get her on our card first so she can... I'm not trying to put her on the card afterwards. So here's the mermaid. We're going to add some elements, though, because we want to color some stuff in. So we still need to do that. But we have our base card here, and she's going to go right there. But I'm going to grab some of this. This is Fun Stamper's Journey, Journey Gold. And it's just twine, obviously. So now you guys can see kind of my theme of I didn't want to go with... I originally was going to do, um, you know, like the typical, where does this even start? Oh, there it starts. The typical like uh, purples and stuff like that. But I decided I wanted to go more kind of goldish, which I love. I think it turned out nice. And we're not even done yet, you guys. 
So I just grab a ton of the twine. You're gonna want some sort of tape, washi tape or something like that. Um, and I'll show you why, but I take it around three fingers like this. That's, it's probably gonna be too much. I don't want it to look like netting behind her like she's caught in netting. Well, I do kind of. So it's gonna be kind of poking out back here and you kind of want it to do its thing like that. Depends on how chaotic you like it, if you don't like it like that. Because remember, she's going to go right about there. That's a little too chaotic. I'm going to cut that down. A little too chaotic. So this is the starting piece. We're going to put that right there. Once again, that's going to be hidden by her, so we're not too worried about that. Now we can play around with these. This is the end piece, which I'm going to bring back right about here. So these two pieces that are my, my uh, the pieces that basically start. So one starts here. We can cut that off. And you're just gonna kind of move it to whatever direction you like. If you wanna secure it down some more, you can. And remember that this part would be hidden by your mermaid. And then you can also secure it down by putting, so like for example, if we have this here, we can put a pop dot like right, right there to secure that down, which is what we're gonna do. Do, 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 do. So see how now that's going to hide that. You're not even going to see that purple tape. So I'm going to put one of these right there and you're going to push it down really hard. And what that will do is it will secure it to the cardstock underneath and hold. See now how it's hold that, that twine in place. It's not moving, which is what you want. And now when you're positioning it, you can position it to where well, I probably should have done a little bit. Well, I could probably still hide it. Well, I'm going to cut it down. I did, I did it too high. So let's move it down and push it down. Oh, there we go. Because we're gonna hide that with some other elements here in just a sec. Perfect. All right. So I'm gonna add, um, I want her down on that end, but I want her head to be up. So once again, we're gonna add pieces to her head to make her head pop up. You wanna make sure you add support to the body and then this part and that part will go down. So we need to grab our zots. So we'll put a zot there. Is that there? I think that actually will be good. Because that will go there. This still needs to get moved down a little bit more, which is fine. We can move that now and tuck it right there. Her head, oh, helps if I remove the backing. There we go. So if you have any of your purple tape or anything showing, just use your little pokey tool and push it back. There we go. Let me look up at it to make sure. And I like that position because it's still kind of bugging me for where I, I'm not sure I like where her fin lied. Oh no, I do. It's fine. All right. So before we add the element here, we're going to color in her. F oh, all we see is your head. I'm sorry. How about now? Can you see? I was just getting placement. I apologize.
Okay, so what we have here is we have the Crystal Black Ebony Nouveau. The, uh, this is called, I think, Simply White. And this one is called Bright Gold. And we're gonna be doing a lot of filling in. These are just little element pieces I got from a necklace. And we'll be using that with some art glitter glue. And then we also have these gold drops that already have adhesive on it. So if you need a pair of tweezers, definitely have that ready. We're gonna start with these drops and they're pretty much built into her. See right there where they're kind of built in. Uh, I'm just gonna take them off. They already have adhesive on it so I can just put it on and using my tweezers, apply a little pressure. There's different sizes. So we're gonna go around and do that. Now, if you don't like the, the jeweled look, if you'd rather go with um, that, you have the Nuvo drops. But we're gonna see, we're gonna start with the big ones here and then go back and see if we wanna do, I'll probably do Nuvo drops because I don't want it to be too, too heavy. Like I said, there's different sizes, so you can play around with the sizes. Um, I think there's one hidden. Nope. All right, so that's enough gold. I think I'm gonna use some of this bright white. I always start it off. And then this will have like a, uh, a nice uh, simple white look to it. And there's these teeny tiny little dots. I don't know if you guys can see them. And this will break up the blackness from the card. And this is pretty good control. You just wanna pull up and it will make kind of like what I call like a Hershey kiss and it will dry like that. You just wanna make sure, do not push too much or too much will go out. But there they are right there. See how they look like little Hershey kisses? And these are gonna be not noticeable as much from the front because obviously you have a lot of gold going on and black, but it's gonna to tone down a lot of the black and gold from her hair. But we also have some black if you wanted to do black. Sorry if my head's in the way, I'm trying to do both. I really like the white though because it's bringing the white in from in the back of the card. Okay, so we have these things and a couple ideas with this is we can either use these for where there's little fish, starfish or not starfish. You could use them in the twine. So let me show you them up close. They're kind of tiny. See how tiny those are? You could actually use these. I'll show you the different places. So you have these starfish in her hair. So you could do that there, kind of cover the starfish. You could also use them back here in the twine and kind of give you that look. And then we're going to color these in. And I think I'm going to use them in her, her hair because I really like the contrast of that really bright gold and then that really dull gold. So we are just put a little bit of art glue. That's a lot of art glue. So we'll grab a little bit of that. And then there's one kind of poked down here. So we're gonna, the nice thing is, is that hair, because we lifted it up with pop dots, we can now just kind of hide it under there and push it in there and really show the dimension. All right, let me see if I can zoom in and show you guys up close, because I still need to color in a little bit of her stuff. All right, 
so the last thing to color in these to stay with my color i have spectrum noir glitter pens um, I have a clear glitter one, which we're not going to use because there's so much glitter. Well, we might use it on the neck. I have a gold one, which is this color right here. And then I thought I already had a black one started. Let me go check. Also have this black one now I will let you know I, I, a trick on these do not push these are very juicy and when they come out they will literally um, cover your entire project and they can ruin it now they will dry a little lighter with a little bit more glitter in there so we're just gonna add it so basically we're kind of looking at these in between your necklaces that almost looks like puka shells that's what this black part is is gonna be those kind of puka, puka puka shells. And they're nice and fine tips, so they're easy to kind of get in there. I'm a big fan of them, I like them. And then they're also in between these big Okay, and then I'm just gonna color in real gently the seashells. So, and since we used embossing powder, it should just go right over that. So you'll still see that black embossing powder, which is what we want. We don't wanna cover that because that gives the shells definition. And then what's nice is these will gl uh, dry with a nice glitter sheen to them. There's one hidden up in here in her hair. Okay. And for the shell, I'm just going to do a nice mix of the two. So I want the gold, obviously, because it looks great, but I want a little bit of a paler gold. So I'm just going to draw a little bit of gold on there. I'm going to push some of this out of the, the clear glitter pen. You'll see it kind of pull up. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit and it's going to give me a little bit more of a paler gold. Mm, not enough. Probably because I'm using it on paper. So I'm just going to add a little bit. Oh, let me make sure I'm back on screen for you guys. Sorry. I'm just adding a dab of gold in each of these. And then I can go back with this one. And that will give us a little bit of a paler gold than the seashells. So you can see it's a different gold than the seashells were because we've kind of diluted it a little bit. And I think we are done. That was hard. What do you guys think? Isn't that good? I love, see, that's what I loved about this. Just that gold, beautiful, and stuff like that. Um, and it just, it's different. You know, we're so used to seeing it with the teals and the, the purples and stuff like that. So I really liked how... You know, the gold, especially with that tail, just pops out. You have the gold in her hair incorporating it with the white and those little seashells. Instead of seashells, you have those little things. We have the twine in the back there, um, the gold and everything like that. So it looks good, huh? Turned out good. I played with it. I'll show you my first rendition. And the reason I changed it was this was the first one. And I loved this. And then I got up into her hair and I wanted to still incorporate kind of that teal and pink and blue. And even though it looks great, it just, it was a mishmash. As you can see, it's a mishmash between the two. It doesn't look bad. Like I love the white in her hair, but it just was too much. Um, so that's the reason I went with the glitter paper here was to, to kind of, you know, tone that down and to make it a little bit more uh, focus on, you know, her as the mermaid. So. 
All right, let's see if I can do this. What's up, everybody? So thank you for joining. I know that was a super long video, an hour and 35 minutes. Um, they are detail oriented, as you can see. I mean, look at that, though. Like, if you got that card, look at I wonder if I can kind of shade it to where it's not. There we go. Look at that. It's just so fun. And you can't really see it unless you're in person, but all of the dimension and um, it gives it a different look than our pinks and greens and teals and stuff. But I have to say, I love this company. You can make it as complicated or as minimal as you want. So for example, here is the die. That's all just one die. Let's see if I can show you guys that. There we go. So if you don't want to go through all the different layers and, and you know, using the pop dots, you can actually just use this. This will cut out all of this for you in black or whatever. So that way you don't have to go through that. Um, so it's great. And once you're a club member, you actually get access to previous months, which is really nice. So like they just, I'll show you what they sent me. but they sent me the Frankie one. Dang it, where'd it go? I will find it, you guys. See? They sent it for me just as a thank you for doing videos and stuff. So I'll have to do that one and stuff. So, um, so thanks for joining. Let me go back to the card so you guys can see one last look at it. Thanks for joining and having fun and crafting with me. It was kind of fun just crafting with you. I definitely miss being able to see questions. I'm kind of going back and trying to see if I can see any that there's out there. Before I go, do you guys have any questions um, that I can answer? Let's see here. We will go live tonight at probably 4.30, so an hour and a half when Sean gets here. Um, please show both again. You got it. It looks like she's the good one and she almost looks a little evil. <laughs> I'm exhausted too. I agree with you, Sue. I like the second one much better. I just didn't, when I finished this one, not saying it looked bad, it just, I didn't like the contrasting colors. This took away from down here and I really wanted that gold to pop. Oh, Riley, my 10 year old daughter Riley says hi and she loves the mermaid. That's so nice, Michelle. Um, so don't forget a lot of the stuff I used was Cricut. So it's on sale. If you guys need to get supplies, get it now. The glitter paper, the pearl paper. Um, let's see here. It came from Cricut. This black paper came from Cricut. I think. No, that was Fun Stamper's Journey. I take that back. That's white. So it's just the glitter paper and then the, that pearl paper. But of course, the tools we used, we used a lot of the cuddle bugs, the plates and stuff like that. Um, I have more plates coming. I'm super excited and um, I'll have those soon. So thanks for joining me, you guys. And uh, thanks for using the links down below. I adore all of you. I will see you guys at um, 430. Just so you guys know, again, this is the set you get. So you get the, the six piece die set. I'm missing mine. I'm going to go look to see if it fell out of the package. The Mermaiden, which is the stamp, the red rubber mounted stamp, and then the one piece die, which is the black. This is just the outline die. And so what I mean by that is, for example, um, I don't see any that used. Oh, this one did. Use that layer die there, you can see. So... So yeah, it's a great club. I love it. Um, I, I, they've been great. So, all right, guys, thanks so much. I adore all of you. Thanks for sticking with me through the long haul. I'm glad you liked the project. Have an amazing day. See you.